hello and welcome back to my channel i know that i put a video up last night and i just put a video up this afternoon but i really wanted to get this video up because i started looking at the calendar for the upcoming puzzle alongs that i join in on instagram and one starts september 9th which is less than two days away so i'm going to have the image up on the screen while i talk about it for a few minutes the three that I'm interested in, well, actually, maybe even four. Okay, let me talk to you about this. Ooh, I see five. Okay, they're up on the screen. I'm looking at it on my iPad. That's what you see me looking at. Now, Woodland Creatures comes up September 9th through the 16th. So I have three puzzles for that. Then Pattern Keeper, I have two puzzles picked out for that. Fall, I have eight nine a lot okay and then i also have i just realized magical mysteries i have to find out more about that but i have a couple of uh mystery type puzzles that could possibly fit that but i don't have those puzzles pulled out so i can't show you those in this video and then games galore november 18th through 25th which i have one i've completed that I'll redo, one that I haven't done by Shelly Davies, and one that I'm going to ask the host if it can work. So I have at least two, maybe three. But I'd like to also jump on to, before I show you any images, it's when I was a kid puzzle along, and that's September 16th. And I have three Michezzo Game Assist puzzles picked out for that. And but I noticed that when I was a kid puzzle along for September 16th, which is next week, and games galore, it could cross over a little bit. So the three puzzles that I have picked out for the when I was a kid puzzle along beginning October, uh, September 16th, those are very dark puzzles. So in case those puzzles are more of a challenge than I imagined that they would be, I can always hold them over till November. So that was the little bit of correction that I wanted to make. But for now, I'm going to show you, try to show you all of these puzzles that I have picked out that are going to take me until the end of the year. These, of course, won't be the only puzzles that I do for the end of the year, uh, until the end of the year. But these are the ones that I picked out for events. And then quite naturally, I'll do other puzzles in between. So... Without any further ado, let's get started. And so for Woodland Creatures, again, which begins September 9th through the 16th, I have this one, and this is called Amazon Rainforest. Now, I did ask the host, and her name is It's Puzzling Ed. That's the Instagram handle. I will pop the Instagram handle down in the right-hand corner. And I asked her, I said, you know, this is the Amazon Rainforest, is it? Is it really the woods? She says, well, forest is woods, so it can count. So this one I get to do for that puzzle alone that starts next week. Then we have, I'm going to show you the one that I've already done, but I'm going to redo it. And I love the fact that I'm going to redo it because it's an Ibu round puzzle. That previous puzzle I showed you quite naturally is an Ibu. But I love their round puzzles and I love working them from the outside in. So I cannot wait to do, to do this puzzle. And it's called Woodland Creatures, which is ironic because that's the name of the puzzle along. And even though I are, have already done this puzzle, just by sheer fact of that it's called the same name as Puzzle Along, I had to do it. And then I thought this was perfect. This other Ibu uh, 1000 piece puzzle this is called Hike in the Woods. So this event lasts for one week and I have those three puzzles. So my personal plan of attack is at the top of each week or the beginning of each puzzle event, I will do the puzzles that you're seeing in this video. And then on my free time, so to speak, I will pull out other puzzles and believe me, with well over 250 puzzles to choose from, that won't be any hardship. Okay, so that takes care of Woodland Creatures, September 9th through the 16th. Then we have, jumping over 
to a different organizer and I'm going to get her name. It's Night Owl Puzzler. It's N-I-T-E Owl Puzzler. And for that event, I have three that I chose and that's for when I was a kid puzzle along. So let me grab those three. Oh, these boxes are heavy. Felt like I was going to drop them. Now, I showed her two, but I went to get the two that I have and realized, wait a minute, I have three. Now, as I mentioned at the introduction of this, these puzzles are quite dark, so they might be a bit more on the challenging side. But I've done uh, these Michezzo puzzles before, the Game Assist uh, line that they have, and the, the darkness isn't too, too bad for me. But in case these puzzles do kind of challenge me, I can always push them into games galore at the uh, middle of November. So I've got some ideas on that. So the three puzzles for when I was a kid puzzle along. Oh, I just had an idea and I'm going to show you this idea right now. Okay. I'm going to show you this Shelly Davies puzzle. This puzzle is called uh, Toys. It's called More Than Toys, but let's find the name. This was not planned for me to show you this puzzle on this part of the uh, video, but I just had an idea. Vintage Toys. Okay. Vintage Toys. I'm thinking that I might do, when I was a kid, one of the, I, I do this because I'm, really working on a lot of Shelly Davies puzzles of late, and then move on to the Game Assist Michezzo puzzles. And then that way, if I have to segue into a different puzzle along event, I have other puzzles to choose from. So that's the first one. Now the other three, now this is staying up all night. Now, you're going, to, you're going to get glare because some of these puzzles are shrink wrap, such as this one. And I'm going to try to hold it at an angle, but this is called Staying Up All Night. And the brand is Michezzo, but it's also Game Assist. So the, the main brand is Michezzo and the subline is Game Assist. I've done a couple of these, maybe three of these puzzles already. This is going to be a real challenge because... You see all that red there, and then the controller is red. All of this is dark in the middle. So I think of the three that I have picked up, this this might be the harder of the three, the more difficult of the three. So I think I would start with this. I always have a habit of choosing the hardest first and then moving on to something a little bit easier. The other one that's going to be a challenge, but it might not be as challenging, even though it's very dark, is Dawn of Video Games, another Michezzo Game Assist puzzle. And the reason I say this might not be as challenging is because it's lighter at the top. Yes, it's darker at the bottom, but you have four, five kids. I think there's five kids there. So I'm thinking, hmm, okay. And do you recognize that game? Is that Pong? Tell me if it's Pong in the comments. I think it's Pong. So I'm going to grab this one. And you know, I have some classic games on my Switch. And if Pong is on there, I'm going to play that today. Then this is Pinball Invasion. I don't think this will be super challenging, although it's wrapped full of purple. Purple, purple, and more purple. Just a teensy bit of green here, but all of this purple. But I still think because of the brightness of it and the pops of color, like with the yellow and the blue and the red and the little green there and the yellow up there, that it might be a little bit easier than the other ones. So I will refer back to those when I get to the other ones in chronological order. Now I'm going to pop back up the Night Owl Puzzler's image on the screen upcoming puzzle alongs because there are four puzzle alongs listed here. The September 16th when I was a kid which I just showed you the three Michezzo puzzles and this one that I realized would fit perfectly. Vintage toys. But I want to be fair because we're not all the same 
And there are three other puzzle alongs coming up that I may not do. Like, for example, October 14th through 31st is the Halloween puzzle along. I know I'm not going to be joining in on that one. And then November 11th is Music Lovers Puzzle Along. And I imagine that would be a one-week event. And I, as far as I know, I don't think I have anything that fits that in my queue. But if I do, I'll pull it out and I'll work on it during that week. And then the last Puzzle Along for Night Owl for 2024 is Holiday Puzzle Along. Now, when I went to her post... Below it, it says, for any holiday you celebrate. Now, in the puzzling community and also in the diamond painting community, when they have holiday events, they uh, sometimes allow it to be seasonal. If Night Owl Puzzler has this as a seasonal in addition to holiday, then yes, I have some seasonal puzzles that I could do during that week. But if not, no worries, I'll just work on something else. So I wanted to talk about all of those other three events, even though I may or may not be joining in the, the third and the fourth, which is Music Lovers Puzzle Along and Holiday Puzzle Along. But in case you're interested, there's the Halloween Puzzle Along as well. So let's get back to the other one. And, um, okay, we talked about woodland creatures. I have two here that I'd like to show you. This next one here is Patterns, September 23rd to 30th. Now, because I do so many gradient type puzzles, I really don't have a lot to choose from. But I do have two that I have not yet done. And one that I've had for the longest time and uh, this Cloudberries Symmetry Puzzle. I think I've had it for about a year. This, I cannot wait to do this one. And I'm really sorry for the glare. That might be a little bit better look. So for the Patterns Color Along, September 23rd to 30th, I'll start off with the Symmetry Puzzle. Also for that event, I have this one, which I wanted to do so many times already. I've only had this for about a month. But it's not where my other Ibu puzzles are because I really want to do it. But I'm glad I held off because September 23rd through 30th, we have the Patterns Puzzle Along. And her channel is It's Puzzling Air. So as I talk about her Instagram handle, as I talk about each event, I will tag under the screen, uh, under me anyway, on the screen who is the host, so that you can follow them on Instagram. So this is called um, Sunshine Garden. So I do have a triangular patterns, Ibu round puzzle that would fit this perfectly, but I've already done that, so I don't think I'll pull that one back out. So that one is that. So Okay, I had to do a little bit reorganizing because I pulled a lot of puzzles off of my shelves. I mean, a lot. I, I don't even know how many I've shown you so far, but I have even more to show you. Now, I'm going back and forth, obviously, between the puzzle alongs. And the next one, after the September 23rd through 30th, let me make sure I've got my facts straight. I have... Okay, so chronologically, after September 28th through 30th, we have the October 14th through 31st, the different puzzle organizer for that one, and that's the Halloween Puzzle Along. And then when we come back to the uh, Puzzle Along schedule for It's Puzzling Air, eh, we have fall, and that is October 7th through 14th. Now, I pulled out an inordinate amount of puzzles for this because it's only a one week event. Again, August, excuse me, October 7th through the 14th. But I decided to check my stash to see any puzzles that were fall related. Now there's one or two that might have the word fall or autumn in it, but for the most part, they don't. So the criteria that I looked for was fall or uh, changing leaves and things of that nature. So with that in mind, 
we're gonna we're going to start with storing up and this is a child's Waisaki puzzle it's new I have it hasn't been open I can tell because they glue their boxes and so I can tell I haven't done this one yet so this is called storing up and my criteria for choosing this puzzle is the different color trees now Waisaki and his brother uh, I can't think of it. His brother's name just blew my mind. But anyway, I mean, just flew out of my mind. But they use a lot of trees in their images. But since this tree has like red and orange, we're going to count that as a fall puzzle. Let me just make this nice and neat. Then another one that I chose, again, because of the trees. Now, it could be up to interpretation, but I think this will fit. And this is Nantucket Winds. And this is another new puzzle. Still, ha This one has that little tape that they used to use on the puzzles. And again, my criteria for choosing Nantucket Winds was the color of the trees. This is Charles Wysocki. In fact, most of the puzzles that I show you will be Wysocki. So the ones that, excuse me, will be, no, they're not most. No, I take that back. I thought most of my puzzles that I had chosen were... Uh, Buffalo, but I see a few other brands there. So the next puzzle I chose according to my own criteria for this is called Sleepy Town West. And as you see, it has the fall colored trees and a little, some snow-capped mountains in the back, but I'm looking at the trees. So this is in that queue. Excuse me, I blocked my face. This is in that queue for the fall puzzle along. Is it called fall? Now I'm losing my mind here. Yes, fall. So, there's more. Let's stay with Buffalo for now. Now, this one, it's, it's prob it probably should be taped, but I bought this used, and it's in a baggie, and until I tape it, I'm just going to leave it in the baggie. But this is a country life puzzle called A Day Out at the Farm. And the reason that I pulled this puzzle out is these three pumpkins right here. The trees haven't fully reflected fall, but hey, there's pumpkins. So I'm counting this, oh, horrible glare. I'm counting this as a fall puzzle. Then my last buffalo puzzle, not my last fall puzzle pulled out, is another Charles Wysocki puzzle. This is Labor Day in Bungalowville. And yes, I know it's already past Labor Day, but we're pulling this one out because of why the color of the trees. So there you have these, all these trees. And so Labor Day in Bungalowville is very similar to style in some of the other Wysocki puzzles that I've done, but I haven't done this one yet. I bought this one used. The seller, <laughs> the seller put a rubber band around it, just like that other seller put a baggie over the other one so my goodness do i have some puzzles picked out for fall then we have this kodak puzzle which i've never done a, i don't think i've done a kodak puzzle because i only have yes i did i have three kodak puzzles one i did was pencils it was 300 pieces but look at this one this is going to be a challenge so this might go early in the queue because this might take me the longest and as far as i can tell that's only a one week event and this kodak puzzle i'm struggling for the name do i have the names out should i of course i should but i don't i just found it it's autumn in harrisville new york so i want to try to get this one done early in the event and the reason like i said that it might be challenging is because you have the sky and the houses the tree and then you have the water and the reflection of all of that so that's going to make that puzzle a little bit challenging and then to go on to other brands i'm going to try to uh sort show you these oh are these three other brands no they're two other brands so this is a hometown collection oh heronim remember a few moments ago i mentioned charles Wysocki, his brother and how he uses trees well charles Wysocki's brother's name is Heronim Wysocki. So I have this hometown puzzle and the brand for this one is, what is the brand? I see Sherlock's, I'm not even sure of the brand. It just says TCG Toys, but it's it's a hometown puzzle. Sherlock's, maybe Sherlock's is the brand. 
And again, the same criteria I chose for the Charles Wysocki puzzles, I chose for this one. And that is the autumn trees, although there's only a few, but we're going with it. Then my last two autumn puzzles that I have picked out are Seiko puzzles. And they're both David McLean puzzles. And these names are very, very hard to find, but we are going to find them. And okay, we won't keep looking for the name, but I will put it on the screen when I find it. But this is a David McLean puzzle, quite obviously a fall puzzle. You have the leaves burning, you have leaves in piles, you have the leaves. So this is just perfect for the event. So I hope I have a great puzzling week because I have no idea how many of these I'm going to be able to get done. Now this is a David McLean puzzle. I decided to pull out, even though it's it's not a dark image, but there are the, the couple of the trees that have changed colors. And it's a David McLean, and I just love David McLean and his work. This is going to be kind of towards the bottom of the pile because his puzzles to me are generally easier than, say, some of the Waisaki puzzles. So I want to work on the harder puzzles first. Or I just might put all, I think there's nine of these. I just might put all nine of these uh, fall puzzles on a wheel. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that only time will tell. So I'm grabbing my tablet because I want to get all these dates right. So we went from the woodland creatures to patterns. I just showed you fall. And then we jump into, and we, of course we start when I was a kid puzzling along. I kind of left that out. And then we had the October one for the Halloween. Then the music lovers puzzle along and then the holiday puzzle along for the end of the year for Night Owl Puzzler. But there are two more, and I'm going to show you not the one for Magical Mysteries, which I'll pop that up on the screen. I'm not going to show you any puzzles for that because I, I wasn't quite sure I was going to do that, but I am going to join on that because that is a, a sponsored puzzle. And I, I'm going to just grab a puzzle that I kind of think might, grabbing it backwards, kind of might fit that theme. And I don't think I've done this one. This is called Death in Paris. And it's a mystery puzzle. So I'm going to find out more about the Magical Mysteries puzzle along. And once I find out more about it, if, if this puzzle fits, I have two or three kind of in this vein that might work. So that is the Magical Mysteries Puzzle Along that's October 18th through November 3rd. So I, I'm telling you these out of order, but at the end of this video, I'll try to put everything in chronological order. Now, we're at the end of me showing you puzzles with two more, and this is for the Games Galore Puzzle. Now, remember when I said that for these Machezo game, game Assist puzzles, I may not make get all three done during the event. So if I have any of these of the three left, I'll work on them towards the middle or the third week of November for the Games Galore puzzle along. But one of the ones that I did take off the shelf is this Games We Played White Mountain puzzle. I did this about a year, maybe even two years ago. And I'm going to redo it for the event because, first of all, I needed another puzzle for the event. And I love White Mountain puzzles and I love collage puzzles. So it's a, so it's a win, 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 right? I showed four fingers. Win, win, win. Let's do that right. And then the last one that I have picked out for this event is called Vintage Board Games. And it's similar, but very different than the White Mountain Puzzle. There you go at an angle so we can avoid most of the glare. So it's another Shelley Davies puzzle. And I'm really excited about this because I, I was going to put all my Shelley Davies puzzles back on the shelf because I found a White Mountain Puzzle I really want to do before the 9th. And it's already late in the day on the 7th, but I still have a puzzle that I'd like to do. So 
I'm glad I didn't put them back up because I I grabbed this vintage toys and now I have this vintage board games for the event. So those are all the puzzles that I have pulled off of all my shelves. I have shelves in the bedroom. I have shelves in the living room. I have stacks in the bedroom and a stack in the living room. So we're going to just list these again in alpha, excuse me, chronological orders. Order. We have Woodland Creatures September 9th through the 16th. That's It's Puzzling Air. And then we have September 16th, When I Was a Kid Puzzle Along. Then the next week we have September 23rd through 30th, which is Patterns. Then we have Fall for October 7th through the 14th. Then we have October 14th through the 31st, which is the Halloween Puzzle Along, and that is Night Owl Puzzler. And then a crossover of that between October 18th and November 3rd is Magical Mysteries. And I told you, I, I kind of think I have three or four puzzles that I might do in there. I didn't think so at first, which is why I don't have them out. So that's October 18th through November 3rd. And then we have November 11th. For that week, we have Music Lovers Puzzle Along. And... After that one, we have Games Galore, which is November 18th through 25th for that week. And, and we're crossing over puzzle organizers but, or event organizers, but I'm going to try to pop all this stuff on the screen for you. And then we have, let's see, I told you Games Galore, November 18th through 25th. And the last event for this year planned is December 1st through 25th, the holiday puzzle along. And it doesn't have to be Christmas. It could be whatever holiday you celebrate. But like I said, in other communities, they often let you do winter themed full holiday. But I will leave that up to the organizer. I have, like I said, plenty, plenty puzzles to choose from if I don't do that event. So let me get to editing this because I've got a lot of stuff I'd like to use on the screen that will help you to decide if you want to do any of these puzzle alongs. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you with my next video.